guys and welcome back to my channel my name is april of april newly me a housewife here in california if you are new if you're one of my subbies hey youtube bestie today we are going to do a tag video i'm very excited about it because it is a natural hair tag and i don't know if i've been under a rock but i didn't know that there was this type of tag video until i saw my home girl abby of natural as abby do it she didn't tag me but i messaged her and i was like yeah i'm about to steal all your questions sis and she was nice enough to send them to me so shout out to abby go ahead and watch her video her natural hair tag it'll be in the description box below okay so i'm gonna go ahead and run down the list of questions i haven't written down there's a lot of them so i don't want this video to be too long so i'm just gonna try to go through them as quickly as possible so the first question is low proxicity or high high proxicity hair definitely low it takes a lot to keep my hair moisturized it's a whole headache and it's expensive it's expensive uh number two is deep conditioner thick or slippery that's a hard one i wish i could have both but if i had to pick between the two i would say slippery just because it helps detangle my hair and that's like the number two problem i have in my hair it always gets tangled so i want thick but i have to go with slippery twist out or braid out okay in my non-lazy days like when i first started my natural hair journey i was always doing braid outs because i was just so enamored with my natural hair now i'm like i ain't got time for that so i do twist out i kind of do prefer the twist out look when i'm doing smaller you know parts but when i have bigger parts i prefer braid but if i have to pick i'm lazy so i'm gonna go with twist wash our number th number four is wash and go our rod set definitely definitely wash and go again I am a lazy natural. A rod set will take me an extra uh, 45 minutes to an hour. I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing all that. Perm rod set, our flexi rod set, definitely flexi rods. They're easier to work with and they're more comfortable to lay on. They both irritate me when you lay on them, but definitely flex rod set. Okay, number six is shower or sink. And I'm assuming you guys mean when you wash your hair, that's kind of tough for me because I do both normally on my regular wash day, not, you know, the um, in-between wash day. The real wash day, I will do my detangle, you know, all my prep work for my hair. When I'm in the shower, taking a shower, I'll go ahead and wash it and put on the conditioner. I get out the shower, dry off, do a deep condition, and then when I rinse the conditioner off, I do it in the sink because I already took a shower. So... I know that's kind of cheating, but I do both, to be honest. Air dry or diffuse, 100%. I'm gonna go with air dry. I don't think the diffuser works on my hair. It never has. And plus, I don't want any kind of heat, any kind of air on my hair after I wash it. Definitely, definitely air dry. And when you have natural hair, at least for my hair, when you're putting all your product in after you wash it and deep conditioning, it's gonna get dry anyway, so yeah. Definitely air Okay, number eight is flexi edges are as they are. I don't know what flexi edges are. Um, I'm thinking maybe y'all mean gel or to lay down your edges. I'm definitely doing that when I am being fancy or I know I'm gonna go somewhere. When I, I If I have in my head how I want my twist out to look, I definitely put something down and I put a scarf around um, the crown of my head and then put on my bonnet but regular schmegler old days it's as is and since i'm on house arrest i guess i have to go with as is but if i know i'm going somewhere i definitely lay down my edges number nine is deep conditioner or oil god that's like saying if i want to be deaf or blind like that's so hard because i have low proxicity hair i definitely need the conditioner but I would still go with oils just because after I wash my hair, it does have, hold on to some moisture. And I feel like if I use oil, that'll be okay. I think my hair will look a hot mess without conditioner, but I'm still going to pick oil because I love my oils. Number 10 is high bun or low bun. Definitely, definitely high bun. This ain't even my hair. This is a wrap. It has to be on top of the head. 
that goes for buns and wraps i don't like how i look when the you know when this is back here i don't i don't know it has to be on top of my head so definitely high bun 11 is bantu knots are finger coils definitely bantu they take a little longer in my opinion well for me because y'all know i'm like super goofy um uh uncoordinated when it comes to hair but i think i pull off the look better with bantu knots number 12 is bonnet or scarf every day regular schmegler day i'm definitely gonna go with bonnet just because it's easier you just it's a cap you put it on your head but if i know i'm doing something or i want to be extra i definitely do a scarf because a scarf to me lays your hair down better a bonnet is just protecting it if that makes sense but definitely team bonnet on a regular day 13 is wide tooth comb or detangle brush 125 percent for me personally is going to be a wide tooth comb when i use detangle brushes or anything where the um, bristles are too close together it rakes out my hair so definitely without a doubt we're going to go with wide tooth comb number 14 is protective style in the winter our summer totally easy for me being a cali girl west coast is gonna be the summer because whatever hair i have is gonna sweat the out so definitely in the summer i like to wear braids i like to um always wear my hair up in the pineapple type hairstyle that high bun just because it'd be 100 plus out in these streets and my skin and my hair be freaking out so definitely in the summer winter i like to let it flow because i'm cold and my hair ain't gonna sweat out the next one is 15 finger detangle our brush again I'm not messing with these brushes. These brushes pull out my hair, they rake out my hair. I only use my wide tooth comb when my hair is just matted. Like when it's just, and it's hard for me, I'll use um, some kind of oil or my aloe vera gel and use that wide tooth comb. Otherwise, I would say 75% of the time I do my hair, it's all with my fingers. I don't like to use combs or brushes. So definitely finger. And number 16 is t-shirt or microfiber towel. I used to be team t-shirt until I got my towel and I am never going back. I got it from CVS and I believe it was like $4.80. With change, it came to like $5. Invest in one, y'all. It is just, it's bomb. And plus, you don't have to mess up your t-shirts. You know, you can wear them to sleep or whatever. 17 is gel or no gel. <sighs> Again, this is hard for me. It depends on the kind of look that I'm going for. Again, if I'm going somewhere fancy and I want that true, true, like tight definition, of course I'm going to use oil. However, since I'm in California, everything's locked down, I ain't going nowhere fancy anyway. I would do no gel. And plus, since my hair, it just, I feel like my hair takes build up it doesn't take it that well and i always feel like it just weighs my hair down so oils to me are more lighter or at least the oils i use the grapeseed oil tea tree oil and jujubu i know i pronounced that wrong but y'all know what i'm trying to say that oil is very light i don't use coconut oil anymore in my hair and that oil is very heavy so for me i'm always going to go with something lighter versus heavy so team no gel that was a long way around it, but I wanted y'all to understand where I was coming from. Number 18th is length versus hair. Of course, I want both, but if I had to pick, I would no, you know, second thoughts about it. It would definitely be healthy. I would rather have short, healthy hair than long, splitting, crazy looking scarecrow hair. So, want both, but definitely will go for health. And 19 is side part or middle part. First off, my forehead, I know I got a big forehead, y'all. Um, I'm still cute, but I understand I have a big forehead. For me, I have to have that side part. So if I'm having like, when these critters come out to play on my forehead, I can have that side part and kind of push up the twist and it can kind of give me like a little low key bang effect going on where I can cover up 20% of my forehead. So yeah, we always rock in over here with the side part versus up the middle if i didn't have a five head i would do this the straight up the middle but i i got a projector screen so gotta work with what you got number 20 is plastic bag or class or plastic cap i don't mean to laugh i know a lot of people 
I was one of them people that, you know, I used to do the grocery bag cap, you know. Now, on Amazon, y'all, for $5, you can get you 150 shower caps. That's what I do. They last a very long time, so I'm gonna go with Team Shower Cap. And I also can reuse those opposed to reusing a shower, um, a plastic bag, but hey, push come to shove, I need to get my hair done. I'm gonna put up that bag and tie it up. It, it works the same, so no shame in our games. But anyway, this is fun. I want. I love hearing about um, how what people prefer, like the this or that type of games, and I think it's so dope that there's a natural hair one. I will go ahead and type out the questions so you guys can have them. And they'll be in the description box if you guys want to do the video. If you do, tag me because I want to see and I want to watch and I want to support. But anyway, y'all, until next time, bye.